He said 16 times. That's a lot of penises. Now, if you found out your girl slept with your best friend, that's a problem. She's a slut. I hit hard bars. You can't tell me nothing. Spit fire, burner shit like a fucking toaster. Your main bitch want to pull me closer. What's good, my mafia? It's your girl, Mo. And as y'all can tell by the title, I'm back with my last episode of Tell It To Mo Tuesday, y'all. Now, this is going to be my finale episode for a while. I'm not going to be doing Tell It To Mo Tuesday because I have plans on doing something else. I'll let y'all know what that is in my next video, okay? So, y'all, I got some entries today. I got about, I think, like six or seven entries. Um, they're all videos. Can you believe that? Yes. Um, so we're going to get right into it. You already know how this go. My phone is connected to my speaker because I want y'all to be able to hear me because I'm outside. And I'm just trying to beat the sun. I hope y'all can see this sexiness. You feel me? But anyway. Alright, let's get right into it, y'all. Hmm. Go to the Tell It To Mo Tuesday. And we're going to play the first one. Let's see. All right, I hope y'all can hear this. Hey, Mo, it's Shamari. Um, I've been dating this girl for for about like two years now, and like she been acting work for the past like week. And, like I, last week, I found out that she slept with my my best friend, and then when I came. When I came and like talked to her like personally, she she denied it, and I had screenshots and stuff, and then receipts. So I just need advice: should I stay with her or leave her? Because she been acting weird for the past week. Bye, love you, Mo Mafia. Oh, what was his name? Shamari, Shamarion, love you too, sweets. Um. How old are we? What's going on? You sound young. Now, if you found out your girl slept with your best friend, that's a problem. She's a slut. And I, oh. I'm sorry. That's what sluts do. Now, it's one thing to cheat. You feel me? But with somebody's best friend, how long have y'all been friends? How long have you been with her? I kind of need more details. But all in all, what I'm going to say is step away from the relationship. Venture off. Find you somebody who for you. Or just take a break. Maybe being in a relationship ain't for you right now. Um, but for, you know, her to sleep with your best friend, that's kind of grimy. You feel me? Like, real girlfriends don't do stuff like that. And depending on how old y'all are, you will find that out later in life. That you're going to find somebody who more mature and ain't really trying to Peter Weeder hop in the crew. Because that ain't cool. She's basically a, a, a Disney yacht. So, I'm going to tell you, Shamari, Shamarion. What was his name? Let me, I don't want to say his name wrong. Let's see what his name was. Hey Mo, it's Shamari. 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 Right. So Shamari, do you. Find you, you know what I'm saying? You probably young. Get out here, have some fun. Don't worry about her. If you if you you know what I'm saying, if you really liked her and your feelings hurt, I'm gonna tell you like this. It'll pass. All the feelings you feeling, the 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 hurt, the pain, it will pass. Because it's a billion trillion females out there. And and if she wanna cheat on you with your best friend, that just make her look nasty. Don't even sweat it. This one Miss one is next fifteen one coming. coming Gucci in the Burr. You know that song? Next one. Hi Mo and the Mobile Field Crew. I would just like to say that I appreciate you guys for the opinion y'all gave me last week on my situation. Oh, okay, so that was somebody from um, 
the last Tell It To Mo Tuesday, she was just saying she appreciate us uh, giving her all the advice we gave. I don't know who it was, though. But whoever you are, sweetheart, you're welcome. Next one. Hey, Mo, I am currently trying to figure out how to say this, but like, I... The voice threw me off, but we're going to continue. Was in a relationship with an online predator, and I didn't know. Um, so Did you say an online predator? Let's run that back. Hold on. Hey, bro. I am currently trying to figure out how to say this, but like, I was in a relationship with an online predator and I didn't know until his ex girlfriend came and said something to me. So, basically, after I found all that out, I found out that he got arrested for it before. And I found out that he was talking to, you know, underage boys and girls. And, you know, I had bought this guy a phone. I was paying his phone bill. I was doing all kinds of stuff for him. And, like, I didn't even know who he was. And now I have to be very careful about who I talk to because that was, that was stupid of me. I thought I would never let that happen to me. I've seen that happen to so many people. And you think it's not going to happen to you, but then when it happens, it just hits you hard, like, that's crazy. You know, what do I do? Like, I need, I need somebody to tell me what I need to do about this guy. He's kind of sick. Well, um, I mean, as far as the relationship, we ended that. I hope that's already ended. Um, you said his ex-girlfriend hit you up and told you about it, but you said you bought him a phone and you've been paying his phone bill. Cut that damn phone off. Cause ain't no telling how many children he looking at. That's the first thing need to be done. After that, somebody needs to contact the authorities. Because dude, the whole predator out here like messing with little kids. That ain't what's up. We don't get down like that over here in Mo Mafia. So baby girl, I'm gonna tell you like this. If you know he's free and still roaming the world, um. You know what I'm saying? Praying on little kids. That's that's gonna eat you up. <laughs> this is the reality of doing video. Can you go get some tissue for your nose? Can you give me some tissue for your nose? Wait, I got she got it. You've been having this attitude. You've been having this attitude all day. I'll be back. Alright, so my mafia, where were we? Oh, so basically, I don't even know what the last one we left off on was. Um maybe I should look. All right, my mafia. So we left off with the chick who was dating the predator. Now I'm gonna tell you like this, baby girl. Just like this. Rid him of your life and run. Do not backtrack. Rid him of your life. Run. Get away. People like him either have mental illnesses or some type of psychological problem. You feel me? Something is off. There's a reason why he decides to want to be with kids and I got Ava Snot on my damn shirt. <sighs> Alright, so let's go to the next video. What's good, man? How do you do like with the hate comments, the uh, bullying, the people that are trying to talk to burn? How do you do with that in all your videos? Okay, he said, what's good, what's happening? Um, how do I deal with hate comments? Um, and people who are trying to stop the grind. Um, actually, I, 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 I don't let it. I don't give it any energy. Like you might hear me, you might see or hear me say something here and there, but the good always outweighs the bad. So I don't really let negative comments affect me because I'm so in tune with who I am and what I got going on and what I'm trying to do. That hate comments really don't get to me at all. They used to. When I first start doing YouTube, I'm not going to say it like, you know, I didn't have this tough skin this whole ride. It ain't been like that. But as as you do YouTube more and you so focused on the later picture and the, the big picture, 
That hate comment shit don't matter. I'm telling you. I don't care. Period. Next one. This is Justin from Texas. And so, like, I got like, a little problem, though. So, I mean, this girl, we was talking for a little bit. And then, you know, we dated for, like, probably, like, a day and a half, something like that. And so, mm -hmm. I found out that, uh, you know, she been ran through, like, 15 times. So it's true. He so, said ran through 15 right? times? That was all you said for, like, for the fifth period. And then, as a friend, it's a true. She said, I don't know. She said, no. She, she only had had sex two times and so I said oh, okay but today I seen her and she was all hugged up on somebody else and all that so well, I don't know what to do can you please help me Look. so he was talking to a girl they was together for what a day he gotta be in like high school or something maybe even a freshman or sophomore and you found out she was ran through 16 times what my concern is, you know, listen, if you're hearing rumors about somebody that you're talking to, go directly to the source. Ask her, are you out here bad? Is you flipping, dipping, and twisting for air time, dick, and airy? Baby girl, let me know. Because if, if that's the case, I ain't trying to put my heart in nothing. I don't want a thought. I don't want somebody who out here just out here like that. Go directly to her, sit her down, talk to her, ask her. What's up? Is you out here bad? Like, what you got going on? You feel me? Like, I'm not finna be cuffing you if you out here just ran through. He said 16 times. That's a lot of penises. And they got to be young because he don't look or sound like grown, grown, grown. Did he say he was in high school? Yeah, and you seen her hugged up on another dude? No. What? <laughs> Baby girl got to go. I'm sorry. I'm telling you. Not worth it. Get you a new boo. Next one. The last one, y'all. Last final entry. My mafia. Don't worry, I will be doing this again. A whole nother season of 10 episodes. But this is my last entry for Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Let's go. Hey Mo, um, I basically had a issue with my boyfriend. Like, we got into an argument. Everybody have a relationship petty issue. Stuff, and it got really out of hand. Like, it got really out of hand and it's just like we got to the point where I was pushing him and I was putting my hands on him which I should never done no. and the argument was over a phone because like I wouldn't give him a phone like that's what we were arguing over and I was just trying to figure out you know how can I go about fixing the situation like how can I go about like you know trying to stop us from getting into arguments like I know I can't change a person a person is always going to be who they want to be right. but I was just basically trying to figure out, like, you know, how can I go about the situation instead of, like, yelling or screaming and stuff like that. Like, I'm trying to, like, you know, work on myself and, like, become a better person. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of hard to because it seems like... It just seems like every time I try to, like, you know, work on something or better myself at something, it just, like, it never it fails. Pushed it back. seems like I'm always getting put back in the same position. Where <laughs> I like, knew she was from the same I get so defensive I've been about certain things. Like, it could be a question or something like that but like I love him and all mm -hmm. I want to be with him like that's like I want to be with him for the rest of my life like Aww. that's who like I plan on being with but it's just like I want to be better like I want to find a situation as to where it's like you know if we do get into arguments I want to be able to solve that right then and there I want to clear everything up and everything but I just need some type of advice on how to handle the situation better versus yelling, screaming, hitting, and stuff like that. Right. I need somebody that's going to give me good advice on it. So hopefully I can get good feedback from you. And that's <laughs> why I decided to send the video to you. All right. So her and her boyfriend arguing over petty stuff. They keep getting into it. She don't want to keep being physical. I'm going to tell you something. That's called a toxic relationship. Now, I'm going to give you two choices, two things you can do. This is what I would do. 
step away and give y'all time to miss each other and then come back or get some counseling sit down and actually talk to someone else who's not biased about the situation who can give y'all advice about y'all relationship in person because i can tell you all day through you know text messages or voice chats what to do but to have somebody there and to have somebody who can actually pinpoint what the issues are hey coquizy coquizy let me squeeze neighbor dog just came over but yeah you may need to just step away from the relationship for a while because it seems like if y'all are fighting over a phone, you know what I'm saying? That's not nothing big to be fighting over, especially not physically. But all in all, if it's just little stuff like that, work through it. Sit down and talk about it. Don't get so angry. Analyze how he feel and then how you feel. State those things and then come together on an even level so that y'all are not ready to throw them hands all the time. Because you know what I'm saying? Nobody likes getting beat on because it makes you feel worthless. And if you really love them, you shouldn't be putting your hands on them anyway. And I'm hoping and hoping and hoping he's not putting his hands on you too. Because then it just becomes a whole nother level of, you know, out here in society, men ain't supposed to hit women. But you just admitted that you hit him. So it's. It's, it's it's a lot so basically you know what I'm saying try to talk things over try to come about you know try to come about things a different way other than a physical way because you can always get an understanding once you have an understanding there's no reason to fight there's no reason to be so mad you feel me alright so my mafia, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all for sticking through this Tell It To Mo's 10 episodes. This is the finale episode, y'all. I just want to thank everybody for believing in me and believing in, you know, my advice. Because without y'all, there's no Tell It To Mo Tuesday. Alright? So, I will kick this back up in about maybe 3-4 months from now. I got some other ideas I want to try out on the channel and do. So, just... Keep rocking with me. I do want to welcome all my new subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you're viewing this video. Share it with your family and friends. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all and my mafia. We finna get lit because we the shit. Game.